why is it that on race days, when you put in what seems like a similar effort to a training day, you end up going faster? Watch on to find out more. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Wheel Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multisport and endurance events and training. Today I did my first ever park run and it was awesome. For those who don't know, Park Run is a worldwide company, so they've got runs all around the world. They're 5k and they're every week on a Saturday morning usually, and they're completely free. And they're quite popular too. Uh, the run I went on this morning had registered 168 finishes, and there was probably quite a few more who were on the run but just didn't register for a time. Before I did the park run this morning, I did an 11 kilometer workout set. This is my hard set, my sort of interval set. My set today included 400 meters of like a marathon pace, so at sort of a mid-level perceived effort, and then straight into 400 meters of a race pace, so faster pace, uh, so like high perceived effort. Then I did that a few times with breaks in between each, and then did 800 meter versions of each of those. After my set, I joined the Greenway Park Run, which is run here in Leichhardt, which is near Sydney, Australia. And I ran at what I felt was closer to my marathon pace from earlier in my set, so at a sort of mid-level effort. But what surprised me when I looked back after the park run finished was that my pace was actually closer to my race pace at the sort of high-level effort from my set from before. And also over the course of the race, over the five kilometer park run, I actually increased my pace. So I got faster in nearly every kilometer that I was going. So I started around four minutes, 20 seconds per kilometer. And by the time I finished, I was close to about 4.10. And I even had a 200 meter dash right at the end to get to the finish line, which got me down to about 3.50. And this isn't specific to the park run. I tend to find that whenever I'm doing a race, I'll run at what seems to be a similar effort to how I've been training, but I'll always end up going a lot faster in my pace. So why is this? From what I've come to understand, it's a bit of a culmination of a few things that lead to your faster event day pace. To start off with, the whole idea of being in a competition, so racing with other people, even if it's just with one other person, sets your brain into sort of that competitive mode. There was a study done a couple of years ago by the European College of Sports Science that found that cyclists, when they were cycling against even just a virtual competitor, cycled faster than when they were cycling solo. And this is why apps such as Zwift are really useful, because you can actually see the people that you're running or cycling against, and you can try and target to stay with them or even overtake them. In the moment of an event, your body may go into a sort of fight or flight mode, which will then release adrenaline to your body, which will mean you can push yourself harder without feeling like you're at a high effort. On race day, we're caught up in the whole race vibe, and so we can ignore the metabolites that our muscles and our bodies are sending to our brain, the sort of pain signals. And this means you can tolerate a higher threshold of pain. The effect of adrenaline and the whole race vibe allows you to push past your perceived fatigue levels and generally get more from your body. Though training is still extremely important. If you don't know how to pace your body for your fitness level, for the distance that you want to cover, then you might end up going a bit too fast at the beginning of the race and end up having to walk for the second half of the race, meaning that your total time is slower than what you wanted. So practice pacing yourself and holding yourself back, especially at the start of a race, to a sustainable effort level for your level of fitness that you can sustain across the full distance of the race. You can do this by looking at your heart rate or your power output or just perceived effort, whatever your metric is that you wanna use. And on the day of the race, if you're lucky enough that your race has paces, such as with marathons and half marathons, you can stick with them for the first part so that you can pace yourself to begin with. Or if you've got some sort of sports watch or tracking watch, try and glance at it every now and again to make sure that you're not overdoing yourself. And the whole race support and race organization itself plays a massive role in allowing you to be a faster version of yourself. For one thing, typically races are on a predefined route. So you have a map, you have a path that's laid out for you. Sometimes it's even on closed roads. This means that you don't have to make decisions about where to go. 
You don't have obstructions. You don't have to wait for lights to change to green. You don't have to wait for cars to go by. It's just generally easier on race day. And a lot of races, especially longer ones, will have nutrition throughout the course. So aid stations placed strategically here and there so that you can top up your electrolytes and energy levels and just general hydration to make sure that you're at peak performance level throughout the course. This also means that you don't necessarily have to carry nutrition with you. This means that you can reduce the amount of weight that you're carrying and also means that you can be more streamlined. Remember that nutrition is extremely important on and before race day. You don't want to change anything from your regular nutrition plan, which means that for race day, you should really be practicing race day nutrition in advance to make sure that especially your stomach can cope with taking nutrition in throughout the race while moving. If the nutrition that they're supplying on the course is something that your stomach may not particularly agree with, then you might have to bring your own goodie bag. And remember also that hydration is extremely important before the race and during the race. So try and take in water during your aid stations or electrolytes, because if you pass out from dehydration during the race, then you won't actually finish it. For a lot of people, events are milestones or goals that you want to achieve. And so if you find yourself during your event dipping back and finding that it's getting a little harder, try and remember the reason, try and remember the motivation for why you're doing that race. And that might help you dig a little bit deeper into your energy reserves so that you can push yourself harder and finish that race just that little bit faster. And the general support on races is typically amazing, especially when you're coming up the finish shoot or the finish straight or whatever, and you've got everyone cheering on the side, that helps you push yourself just that little bit harder and faster. It makes you work your mind over matter. I've got a bit of a habit of, especially during the last few hundred meters of a race, especially the last finish shoot, of doing a dash. So increasing my pace to somewhat of a sprint so that I can get to the end and use up the last of my energy reserves. This is helped by the spectators on either side who are applauding and cheering. And it's also helped by that sort of mentality that you can go full on for the last straight because after this, you can rest. Back to the park run. While it's not technically a race, it's still a great event day training. You've still got that same three, two, one, go. You've still got a defined course. You've still got loads of people so you can practice your weaving. And it's still got that race day vibe. How do you find your times on race day versus in training? Let us know in the comments section down below. For more content about Mind Over Matter, I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.